Hello and welcome to Megawatt News. I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, Family Matters, our favourite website of the day. Skype's arrival for Japanese PSP owners is postponed. Apple's results are blooming, but the market takes a scythe to their shares. And last up, what have Bono, Microsoft and Dell got in common? Today is the 23rd and we each have 23 pairs of chromosomes in our body. Spurious link you may say, but hear me out. Today saw the unveiling of the Google-backed 23andMe, the do-it-almost-yourself DNA testing kit. All you have to do is send the team a saliva sample and a mere 500 quid and they'll test your DNA, revealing all sorts of mysteries and secrets. Expert guidance could reveal a plethora of information about where you've come from and, perhaps more importantly, what the future could hold health-wise. Check the project out at www.23andme.com. Just weeks after confirming that the PSP was to get Skype calling functionality, Sony has delayed the introduction of the service in Japan as the necessary peripherals about to be launched have not been approved by Skype. The two new microphone products for the PSP were scheduled to be released in Japan tomorrow. A new release date for the single and twin microphone sets is expected imminently, and Sony has opted to postpone the introduction of the Skype features and services in Japan until this is sorted. Meanwhile, in the UK, Sony has already announced its link-up with BT. As we detailed way back last summer, the two companies have developed new software that will enable PSP users to make video and voice calls as well as send instant messages. All has been quiet for nearly six months, but we have been told the commercial launch of Go Messenger is due this month. Apple may have recorded its best ever results, but its shares have taken a tumble. The computing giant announced last night that it had shipped 2,319 Mac computers, 22,121,000 iPods and 2,315,000 iPhones. It boasted that its revenue has now hit a whopping $9.6 billion. However, analysts aren't impressed and shares in the company dropped to $156 at the close of the market yesterday in the US. The price is $44 down from when the shares broke $200 for the first time in late December. According to Reuters, Dell and Microsoft are teaming up for charity. The duo are to launch Product Red Computers with proceeds going to fund AIDS medication programs in Africa. Dell will apparently begin to sell the special laptops and an XPS1 desktop computer from Friday, while Microsoft's involvement comes in via the Vista OS. The charity will get 50 bucks for each laptop sold and 80 per desktop. And for all of you U2 fans, it seems that the machines are part designed by none other than Bono, who is also founder of the charity. He modestly told Reuters, my job is to put some poetry into the machine. Product Red, founded by Bono and Bobby Shriver, currently has several ongoing projects in the consumer electronics world, including ones with Apple and Motorola. The new products are expected to go on sale across the globe before the end of the month. Those were the big stories of the day. Join us again tomorrow when Stu will be reporting on what could be some of the biggest photo launches of the year. Thanks for watching.